people in our community feel depressed, hopeless, or lonely, our trained counselors and staff are here to help. Suicide is a complex issue, and there is no single explanation as to why a person dies by suicide. However, we do know that the vast majority of people that attempt suicide struggle with mental health challenges or trauma, such as depression, substance use, or bullying. At the Behavioral Health Services Suicide Prevention Program, we're engaged with the community on a number of prevention efforts. For example, our program staffs and trains volunteers who run our suicide and crisis hotline, which is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We offer a host of trainings to equip people with the skills that they need to really support someone who is in crisis. And we run public education campaigns to encourage people to seek help for their mental health challenges and to encourage further action to prevent suicide. We're actually seeing higher rates of suicide among men ages 45 and up in this county. Because of the stigma associated with mental illness and suicide, it can often be difficult for people to reach out and seek help when they really need it. In 2016, we ran a 10-month radio campaign encouraging men to call the county crisis hotline and access support services. The campaign was extremely successful, with calls from males nearly doubling during the months of the campaign. By offering immediate counseling to everyone that may need it, our crisis hotline provides invaluable support at critical times and connects individuals to the services they need. By having a conversation, providing support, and directing help to those in need, we can prevent suicides and save lives. So I was describing to a, to a high school friend at a, at a reunion what a typical night at work is like. And after I described what we do, he said, you're kind of like a psychological EMT. Think about it, an EMT pulls up to an accident or at somebody's home, and they kind of get somebody in shape for the moment so they can get that person to an emergency room or whatever they can need for, for long-term care. And we, we provide the same function, whether that person's suicidal, whether they're facing just some kind of crisis in life they want to sort out. At the Suicide and Crisis hot, Hotline, we save lives every day. Uh, we talk to an average of 2,000 callers per month. Uh, people call us because they're depressed, uh, because they're hopeless, because they are lonely. Uh, we help people who are in the crisis situation, not only in crisis, but they are on the verge of killing themselves. We help them to de-escalate de the crisis situation. We help them with some coping skills and for the individuals who we believe that they might benefit from uh, some community resources, we refer them to the resources that they need. We can all help to reduce the stigma around mental health issues and prevent suicides.